Go for the interception again. Oh. Doesn't work out. I get mossed, but I come up with a boom and stick one more time. And this time the ball's out on the turf. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another gameplay video slash defensive tip video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a defense that I pretty much use the entire game, as well as all the tips you need to know on how to basically have a shutdown defense. Woo! If you want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button let me know in the comments section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, I already did make a video showcasing the offense that I use in this particular gameplay. So if you guys want to see that, we'll have a link in the description. And I think it was the last video that I put out. The defense I'm going to be using in today's video, and the only defense I use in this entire game today, is going to be the 3-5 wide, 3 Sam Will Blitz. This, to me, is probably the best base defense in the game this year. The only adjustments I'm going to make is I want to make sure that I have my fastest outside linebackers possible. I also want to make sure that I have a pretty decent speed user at the middle linebacker spot, which I'm going to have in this particular defense is going to be a safety. Now, as far as the setup goes for this defense, it's going to change throughout the game. I'm essentially going to make a lot of different adjustments, but the base setup for this defense is going to be very simple. All I'm going to do is shift my defense to the right, my defensive line. Then I'm going to zone all linebackers. I'm also going to blitz my user because essentially I don't want to get weak box and this helps with that. I think it also still helps with the mobility of your user but at the end of the day blitzing middle linebacker is just a habit for me now the last step is going to be uh, qb containing which is essentially hitting the right bumper or the r1 button twice and this is it this is what you're left with it's highly adjustable which like i said i will show you throughout the video how i'll make adjustments from this defense to basically shut down my opponent the most important thing about this defense is the hook curls will allow me as a user to basically free roam however i want which is really most important this is a user-based defense on the first play i basically follow the drag i don't really know my opponent likes to do yet so he beats me over the top just slightly with a uh, you know just something a bit of a deep crosser on the next play first and 10 he tries to run the ball he does not run the ball very much as you can see i shoot the gap pretty much pretty well and shut it down just for a four yard gain that's something i could live with there are ways to shoot the gap with his defense but he doesn't run the ball enough for me really to show that i have shown that more in other gameplay videos i'll try to have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out as well on the next play i use this drag really well he throws it to the opposite field drag which brings me to my first tip always go for the interception and always go for the hit stick this game is really all about creating turnovers getting possessions for your offense all i really have to do is defend the end zone after that it's all about getting takeaways on this first play i feel like i got cheesed a little bit even my opponent seemed surprised what then i come down field with a nice big hit stick to try to knock that ball out at the end of the day i only have to defend the end zone that's the only thing i have to defend if i can get a turnover from here to the end zone that's what the game's all about on the next play i go for the interception again nope doesn't work out but i come up with a boom and hit stick one more time and this time the ball's out on the turf what? Whoa, bitch. on the offensive side we don't have too much trouble scoring as we go right down the field on a big play my next tip is how to predict what your opponent's going to do. Being that I'm up 14 nothing, regardless of how much time is left on the clock, my opponent's probably going to be in a pretty pass-heavy offense to try to come back. If the game was later, if it was third quarter, fourth quarter, I could guarantee that he's pretty much going to be passing the entire time. But that plus the fact that he's using the Bills makes me think that he's probably not going to run the ball. Who picks the Bills to run the ball? You pick the Bills because you want to use Josh Allen. So at the end of the day, I know this guy's going to be running around and passing a lot. So on the next play, I set my defense up the exact same way. And I'm not really too concerned with the run plays. So I basically just try to take away deep crossers. I know he wants to get down the field quick. And you can see we're pretty much locking everything up. Despite the fact that I probably chose right to take away this route, you always have to watch the other routes on the field. I couldn't help but notice when the play ended that this particular receiver probably was a one play touchdown against cover three since i pretty much been running cover through the entire game i'm pretty sure that he was trying to set that up if i watch that play again he was definitely trying to roll in that direction and the pressure basically blew it up but you can see that guy is definitely behind my cornerback so always pay attention to the other routes even the ones that you're not covering because that's really an indicator of what he's trying to do and I know from experience that the PA post cross shot is a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game if you set it up right. Which really brings me to my next tip, and that's that this is probably the most important thing on your screen right here. It's the previous play and the offensive formation that your opponent is in. You get to see this at any point in time, and I think it's about any game mode. It gives away a lot of information that's very useful. So make sure that you're always paying attention to these two boxes before you pick a defense. 
Now on the next play, because I know my opponent's trying to push the ball down the field to get back in this game very quickly, that's basically he's going to dictate where I go as a user. I see motions out the tight end, so I know he's not in the exact same play, but he could still be trying to set up another one-play touchdown. It's a smart move not to be trying to do too many one-play touchdowns in a row because eventually people will pick up on it, but I'm already picking up on it. As you can see, I'm taking away this deep route, and once again, I get bailed out by a three-man pressure, which will eventually happen if the quarterback holds the ball long enough, which is the point of this defense. Now, my next tip, and this is something you're going to do pretty much the entire game, you're going to have to start making adjustments based off of the, how the game is going. I'm up 14 nothing. I'm basically in a situation where he's going to be passing the rest of the game, so I might as well put in my best pass rushers. Carlos Dunlap is on the sideline. I want to make sure these three down linemen that are rushing are going to be the best ones that I have because they're really the only ones I'm sending every single play. So in the next play, once again, we're just making sure we're taking away any deep crosses, any one-play touchdown opportunities because from third and 25, what else does he have to do? If I take that away and we get another very easy sack because there's nothing open. So, fourth and 31 got to punt the ball there even though i'm sure he doesn't want to do that so back on defense now up 21 nothing i know i don't have to worry about the running game at all like i said the only thing i have to cover is the end zone at any point in time throughout the game this is the most important mentality you have to have especially when you're up 21 nothing the end zone is really the only thing that i'm keeping my opponent from he can have as many yards as he likes on the next place here i take away the deep cross runs again he can take that drag i don't really care he ended up getting probably close to the same amount as he would have got from the deep crosser anyway on the next play, though, I do start making some additional adjustments based on the fact that he's been rolling out with the quarterback a lot. I'm going to start doing these hard flats. This does kind of increase my user responsibilities. Now I kind of have to stick to that hook curl roll. But at the end of the day, it's going to take away all these drags he's throwing, and it's going to help me with quarterback containing as well as he's moving out of the pocket a lot. On this first play, you can see he shuts that drag down. I'm doing a good job of taking away the middle of the field anyway. And he does decide to take off as a last you know, ditch effort as nothing else is really open. And he gets a very big run. Like I said, this particular setup will help with that. On the next play, since he's been doing that too much, I do basically with a Mabel concept on both sides with hard flats to both sides. You're going to see how this really does a good job of shutting down those run lanes once the quarterback gets outside the pocket. This is something I showed in a previous video. But the second he rolls out, the second he leaves the pocket, just basically push in the R3 or the, the right click button, and you'll see this defender will step up right away and basically shut that down. As you can see, forces another throw. Once again, I don't know how I didn't end up with an interception here. At the very least an incomplete pass but he catches it for a couple of yards he's getting kind of lucky with some of the catch animations i'm not gonna lie his, his receiver's got sticky fingers on the next play second and four i make another slight adjustment error where i ultimately put two guys in the seam flat when i meant to put them both one of them in a hard flat and you can see on this next play that defense doesn't work because there's nobody really in the area to step up and take away the quarterback and based on the fact that he's been running this entire drive he's going to run again only this time it results in a fumble if you guys don't know running with a quarterback increases your chances of fumbling and running around the goal line increases your chances of fumbling so that's not a surprise at all on the offensive side once again once again we're just going right down the field we're up 28 nothing now and this is pretty much to the point now where this guy is just going to be you know just throwing the ball up at any point in time because this game is pretty much out of hand we get an interception on the very next play the very next drive and that's pretty much going to be game. I'm going to kick a field goal here, go up five possessions, and I'm going to be happy with that. I mean, my opponent eventually does score a touchdown at some point in the second half, but he's essentially going to quit down 31-7, and I don't blame him. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.